The other big story today as President Trump calls for Governor Cooper to remove all limitations for the Republican National Convention in August. Two wants to know Ben Briscoe learned a doctor calls the idea a recipe for disaster. It's an incredibly bad idea. Dr. Jeffrey Galvin just finished a shift at the ER where he treated coronavirus patients. That experience has him concerned about 20,000 people coming to Uptown Charlotte's Spectrum Center for the Republican National Convention in August. It's not safe. He says research shows you have to be exposed to about a thousand mucus droplets in the air containing coronavirus before you're infected. So if you're in a room with an infected person six feet apart, social distancing while shopping at a store, he says it would take about an hour. If you and that other person start talking to each other. Talking, I'm expelling a lot more virus and it's getting sprayed towards you. So now I'm going to infect you in five minutes. And if you're cheering like at a convention. That might take a minute. Those conventions go all day long, right? People are, are shoulder to shoulder. They're yelling. They're screaming. It's a recipe for disaster. And there's no way that the state can guarantee it, nor is any state could guarantee it. Governor Roy Cooper has asked the RNC to present plans to modify the convention, but President Trump has called on the governor to allow a full capacity gathering in August. It's unreasonable to think that you could put 20,000 people in an enclosed arena, many of them older, right? Because, you know, people that go to these conventions, are, a lot of them are older people that may have medical problems uh, in an enclosed space two months from now and, and, and be able to guarantee their safety. There's no way. President Trump wants to know Governor Cooper's decision within a week, saying they need time to move the event to another state if Cooper won't comply. Ben Briscoe, two wants to know.